All right, everyone, the problem says the atmospheric pressure at the summit of Mount McKinley is 606 millimeters of mercury on a certain day. What is the pressure in ATM and KPA? So this problem is asking us to do two simple pressure unit conversions. And to do those, we're going to need that we have a pressure of 606 millimeters of mercury. So we're going to start with 606 mmHg. And we are going to convert that to 1 atm or atmospheres. And then we're going to take that 606 mmHg again and convert that to 2 kPa or kilopascals. Okay, so for these unit conversions, they're just going to be one step. We're going to multiply by one conversion factor in each one. Okay, and that conversion factor consists of the relationship between the two units. So for our first conversion factor, we are going to go from millimeters of mercury to atmospheres where 760 millimeters of mercury is equal to one atmosphere. So I am going to put 760 millimeters of mercury on the bottom of my conversion factor and I will put one atmosphere on top and we can now solve this problem. Looking at our units, millimeters of mercury is going to cancel because it is on top and bottom. And we will be left with atmospheres as our unit, which is what we want. So now we can do the math here. So if we get our calculator, we are going to start with 606. And we are going to multiply by this conversion factor, this fraction. So we will multiply by the top and divide by the bottom. And since the top is just one, we're gonna skip that. So we are just going to divide by 760, hit equals, and our calculator gives us this. Let's round that to three significant figures. So we will get 0 0.797, 0 0.797 atmospheres. Okay, now on to the second problem. So here we're going from millimeters of mercury to kPa. So I need the relationship that 760 millimeters of mercury is equal to 101.325 kPa. So again, for our conversion factor, 760 millimeters of mercury will be on the bottom and 101.325 kPa will be on top. And that is again so that millimeters of mercury cancels out and we are left with the unit on top that we want, which in this question is kPa. So now we can do the math here. So we are going to again start with 606 and multiply by the top of the fraction and divide by the bottom. So we're going to multiply by 101.325 and then divide by 760, hit equals, and this is what our calculator gives us. Let's round that to, again, three significant figures to get 80.8. So final answer here is 80.8. Okay, there you have it. The atmospheric pressure at the summit of Mount McKinley is 606 millimeters of mercury. What would the pressure be in ATM and KPA? Well, that would be 0 0.797 atmospheres and 80.8 KPA. All right, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.